Hi, this is Kim with Mom's Creative Moments. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing another lesson in my Scrapbooking 101.5 series. And today we're going to talk about borders and layering borders and the fun things that you can do with, um, with that. So I hope that this will be fun for you and should only take 15 or 20 minutes. So let's get started. Okay, so here's my workspace for today. I just wanted to share with you first off some ideas from one of the old idea books. So this is not the current one, um, but this is this one is no longer available. So that's why I pulled it out and thought I would just, just share and kind of talk about some different ideas. This border right here, you can see from the sketch, is made up of lots of different components, but one of the things I thought I would point out is this is a piece of paper, the yellow paper, that's been punched with the flip-flop punch, border maker cartridge. Then it's got a 12-inch sticker. This purple part is a 12-inch sticker. The, the water up here is a 12-inch sticker. And then they added some embellishments over here to the side. So that's just sort of a three-layered border. And then they've got the purple paper behind it, which shows through the flip-flops. So that gives you multiple layers. You can punch a border like they did here with the Mermaid Cove paper. They punch the border twice and then offset the one in back from the one in front. And then there's a little bit of paper um, in front of it. I believe that's paper. I don't think that's a sticker. So that's a very simple layered border. Um, this one that's used as sparks that uses um, sparks of sparks of magic. I don't know why I'm having a hard time saying that. Sparks of magic, um, which I've been using a lot lately with all of our Dis the Disney pages that I've been doing. This actually has a piece of paper. This striped bit is paper, and then there are three 12-inch stickers layered on top of it. There's um, the you can just see the black and white of the roller coaster sticker that's underneath. And then they've got the, the sort of pixie-esque um, stars and uh, asterisks that go across the front on the bottom of that sticker. And then the Let, Let the Good Times Roll banner that goes across the top of that sticker. So um, a very quick and easy layered banner <clears throat> or border, sorry. Here's a more simplified one. They've punched... The border maker cartridge, used, which is the rope um, border maker cartridge, and then added a piece of denim paper and a 12 inch sticker of the rope on top of it. And that this is from the Seaside collection, if you happen to have that in your stash. Very simple, but very nicely put together layered border there. And then a more intricate one down here on the bottom where you can see they've torn paper and layered it together and put the boat kind of in between and then torn more paper to make the sand and added a laser border across the bottom and some other elements of embellishing. So a little bit more involved at the bottom for sure, but very nice and simple at the top. This is using the Cheers pack and they've layered two different border borders of the same cartridge and I'm trying to remember which one this one is but I think it's a, a holiday one that came out a couple years ago and basically what they did was they punched it twice cut one of the arches off and then centered it underneath the other one so you get that layered multiple bannered effect and then there's a 12 inch sticker across the top where the seam is and then um, added stickers for embellishing there. At the top is just one little strip, so no layering done there, but still very elegant and nicely done, nicely put together. Here's one that is just really simple. It's only two pieces, and it is a nice layered border. You've got um, the frost punch underneath and then a 12-inch sticker on top and the differentiation in the colors makes a nice divider for the page and is picked up in the papers that are used to mat the, 
the photos and in these banners over here as well as the embellishments. So that's kind of cool. Over here is kind of a different way to do a border and it's not necessarily typical layers that you would do, but it is multiple different levels and you can see it goes up the entire side of the page and it's just portions of different laser borders or punched borders so that are cut like about five inches long four inches long something like that and then they've got a 12 inch sticker down the side to kind of create the illusion of an irregular edge which is kind of fun let's see <clears throat> this border doesn't go all the way across even it only goes about a third of the way but it is just layered triangles on top of each other with a border strip down the center sticker border strip down the center which is a nice also a really nice effect uh, this one was a lot of layers you can see all the different layers in this one and in the sketch it's the sketch is really busy of course as well but you can see it more plainly in the sample that they did um, using you got this and all the different um, colors of denim that that are in that pa that pack so that one would I think be a lot of work but it is a fun alternative I like to do pages that are fun like this and maybe a little bit more work once in a while just kind of they jazz things up and here we have a sample from Storytime Storytime was one of the baby packs or baby collections that was released um, a couple times back it's been a while since this one came out, but this punch came out with it and it's, it's, this layered border is done in such a way that they punched it twice so that they could get those moons. The moon is actually a part of the punch and then they over, they, they took the moon and cut it out of the yellow punched border and added it to the gray. And they may even actually be on foam squares so that they kind of pop up, which is very cute. I like that. And then they've got just half circles right here of different colors from the collection and a 12 inch sticker over the seam at the top. So very cute way to do a border like that. I also just wanted to recommend or suggest if you're new to layering borders that you get some laser borders from um, your favorite collection. Most, most of the collections that Creative Memories has come out with these beautiful laser borders. These are the brand new ones from the Birds and Blossoms collection that was just recently released. I haven't even done the project recipe for this one yet, um, but I just wanted to kind of show you. You can take two, this is actually two of the borders that I've sort of tucked, in, tucked into each other. You can see how they kind of pop apart if I pull too hard. They just you can work with them and kind of just weave them in and out of each other, which is kind of a fun thing to do. Um, not all of them work this well or, you know, not all of them fit together quite like that. But anyway, this one's super fun. This, These are two borders that I just sort of laid on top of each other and tucked a portion behind. And they almost look like they're meant to go together as one border which is kind of cool this one with the robins who are choose you know picking worms out of the ground you could take this one with the nests and put over the top of the base of the one with with them picking the worms out and it almost makes it look like the robins are sitting in the nest which i think is very cool that creates a, a very easy layered border and not a lot of work involved there at all. This one with the beautiful wildflower field, you can take your, your pretty butterflies either in blue, which is just gorgeous, or as monarch butterflies in the orange, and just, just lay the butterflies over the top, right at the top of the grass, and you get a beautiful border with all the different colors from the flowers and the whimsy of the butterfly so just some quick and cute ideas these two don't go together quite as well although someone i'm sh out there must i'm sure have a great idea for how these two might work together um, or you could just take this one and punch some flowers using your favorite flower punch and add those 
down the vine or across your paper like this for a quick layered border. I'll come back with some other ideas in future 101.5 lessons, but these were just some I wanted to point out just to make your life maybe a lot easier and point out that you can make some very quick and fun layered borders for your albums. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have many more creative moments. Have a great day now.